It is now apparent there is only one option left for expansion of passenger rail service in Oklahoma. Changing politics have put any talk of expanding the Heartland Flyer north to Newton, Kansas on indefinite hold. That leaves only one choice left, a route to connect Oklahoma City to Sepulpa and eventually Tulsa. But that option is fraught with doubt, mistrust, and opposing plans on how to do it. Oklahoma purchased over 800 miles of railroad decades ago as the Rock Island and Frisco railroads disappeared. David Streb, the director of engineering for the Oklahoma Department of Transportation, confirms about half of those lines have now been sold. But one line in particular is getting a lot of attention now that Kansas has dropped out of expanded passenger rail. As Kansas has essentially shut down their entire uh, passenger rail development project. That one line is known as the Sooner Sub between Oklahoma City and Sepulpa. It currently is used by the Stillwater Central Railroad, which spent millions of dollars to repair it. Evan Stair is president of Passenger Rail Oklahoma. He sees a public-private deal possible to begin passenger rail service in a matter of months using the Sooner Sub. The rail advocates that I've spoken with in Oklahoma believe that what we need to do is what Missouri is doing. Start with conventional railroad first, a commuter rail if you will, and then upgrade when ridership is high enough. That upgrade would be to high-speed rail, which has long been the sole focus of the Department of Transportation. The first major study was done in 2001 and 2002. And at the time, Oklahoma was successful and being named one of 10 high-speed passenger rail routes in the country. Evan Stair is not alone in favoring a public-private deal first to get passenger rail moving. Rick Westcott is a former Tulsa City Councilman and is chairman of the Council's Passenger Rail Advisory Committee. We can do conventional rail service right now in the next few months that serves everyone who lives along the line, and we can do that while ODOT is pursuing high-speed rail. Both Stair and Westcott have become very mistrustful of ODOT, believing the state agency isn't really that interested in expanding passenger rail service anywhere. So you kick the can down the road a little further, and you continue studying, and eventually you study the project into oblivion. I think that's critically important. ODOT has proven they don't give a darn about passenger rail. They wish it would go away. They're going to study it to death and, and hope that we give up. When pressed on the issue of a public-private passenger rail deal involving the current Sooner subline, ODOT officials see lots of problems and point out no company has ever shown an interest in doing such a thing. To my knowledge, that individual hasn't come in and sat down and talked with ODOT about what they could or couldn't do or offer any kind of a business plan or offer any input on how, what they could do to help the citizens of Oklahoma. But as it turns out, a company did do exactly that. Well, actually, we made an unsolicited proposal to the state about two years ago to do exactly what we're talking about. Edwin Ellis is president of Iowa Pacific Holdings, and this is the proposal he sent to the rail division of the Transportation Department in April of 2011, a proposal that outlined in detail what the company had in mind, and in fact, still wants to do. You know, we're kind of standing there at the altar waiting for somebody to show up. The plan from Iowa Pacific calls for eight trains a day during the week, five on weekends, and about $100 million in track improvements all to get travel speed up to around 2 hours and 15 minutes. ODOT officials now say they were unaware of the Iowa Pacific offer. Instead, the state is now in the process of adding the Sooner subline to the list of state-owned rail property to be sold. We're in the process of getting an appraisal of what we think the best value is, and then we're in the process looking internally at uh, putting together a proposal or you know, see if there's letters of interest out there. And that, that's our game plan moving forward. During a meeting of the Tulsa Rail Advisory Committee, members were told that stopping the state from selling off the Sooner Sub will not be easy. It's an uphill battle. Um, that, you know, ODOT seems predetermined to, to get rid of it. And we think it's you know, the last breath for passenger rail between Oklahoma City and Tulsa, barring a couple billion dollars from the feds. Ed Ellis and Rick Westcott agree. Yeah. 
this is an urgent issue for Oklahoma and for the people of Oklahoma. Somebody needs to grab a hold of state government and say, stop the Sooner sub sale and work on getting passenger trains put in between Oklahoma City and Tulsa. Half a million dollars a year in lease payments and Stillwater Central has paid millions of dollars over the last 10, 12 years to upgrade the line and now ODOT wants to sell it out from underneath them. Wow. There is growing support for a bill that passed the Oklahoma House last session but did not make it to the floor of the Senate, a measure by State Representative Charlie Joyner that would take all passenger rail duties away from ODOT and create a new rail commission, a bill that will come back up in the next legislative session. In my opinion, they're mismanaging the rail assets that we have now and they're selling everything off at bargain basement prices. We've got to get our rail operations away from ODOT 